what's up beautiful people it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video today we're going to be reacting to another video that was requested for by you this one is titled top 10 largest cities in Russia by population I'm excited to check it out so without wasting your time let's get to it how are you welcome to Russian plus you know every time that I'm abroad somebody Russian will ask plus. me where you from and I say Russia and it's always going to be followed by Moscow and that's what it gets confusing because there are other cities apart from Moscow, right? But most people only heard of Moscow. So in this video, let's take a look at the I 10 largest cities in Russia by population. And without further ado, let's start with number 10, and that is Rostov-on-Don. The city of Rostov-on-Don, it has a population of 1,138,000 people. It's an industrial and agricultural center in the south of Russia. It's also the warmest city out of these 10. Rostov was founded in 1749 as a fortress and a custom house to protect the southern border of Russia and control trade with Turkey. It's a port city sitting on the Don River, and the Don River embankment is one of the most popular places in the city filled with cafes and restaurants. The average salary in the city is $627 a month. Since 2003, the population has grown by 7%. Number 9. The City of Omsk it's the second largest city in Siberia with a population of 1,139,000 people. Omsk was founded in 1716, right around the time when Russian farmers and Cossacks started to settle in Siberia. It was a fortress at first and later served as a place of exile for many years. The construction of the Trans-Siberian Railroad in the 1890s led to rapid economic growth. Today it's an industrial city and a transportation hub. The average salary is $576 per month and since 2003, the population has barely changed. Number 8. The city of Samara. Samara has a population of 1,144,000 people. It's situated in southwestern Russia and framed by the Volga and Samara rivers. During the Soviet era, it was a closed city because it was a center of the rocket building industry. But even today, it's known for the production of aerospace launch vehicles, satellites and other related equipment. The Samara Embankment is a popular city attraction. It's a five kilometer lawn promenade along the beach side. So beautiful. On the Volga River. That's what the I like average to salary in the city is $618 a month. And since 2003, population has decreased by 2%. Number seven. The seventh largest city in Russia is Chelyabinsk. It has a population of 1,188,000 people. It's an industrial city close to the Ural Mountains and it's famous for its tank production and Chelyabinsk meteor that hit the city in February 2013. I was actually on my way to work and I saw it. Some of the current challenges of the city are high pollution and long-term economic decay. Average salary is $583 a month. And since 2000... What's the cost of living monthly? 538 is kind of small, don't you think so? Yeah, let me know, what's the cost of living Three, monthly? The population increased by 8%. Oh. Number 6. Nizhny Novgorod. This city has a population of 1,244,000 people. It was founded in 1221 and it's best known for its 16th century Kremlin. Moscow is not the only city with a Kremlin. <laughs> Nizhny Novgorod was close to foreign tourists during the Soviet era because of its military production and R&D companies. Today it's an important industrial center and a transportation hub. The average salary is $666 a month. And since 2003, the population has decreased by 4%. Wow, what's going on there? Number 5. The city of Kazan. With a population of 1,257,000 people. It's a beautiful city on the banks of the Volga and Kazanka rivers. It was founded all the way in the year 1005, which makes it over 1,000 years old. But it only <laughs> became part of Russia in 1552, after Ivan the Terrible conquered it. Today it's the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan and the cultural center of the Tatar people and it's best known for its centuries-old Kazan Kremlin. It's a tourist-friendly city with a beautiful promenade. The average salary is $659 a month and since 2003 the population has increased by an impressive 13.5%. Yes, wow. It's a very beautiful city. Coming to number 4, my hometown of Yekaterinburg. It has a population of almost 1.5 million people. It was founded in 1723 and since then it served as the mining capital of the Russian Empire as well as a strategic connection between Europe and Asia. It's known as the place where they executed the Tsar family in 1918. 
Church on the Blood was built on the side of the Apatyev house, where the execution happened. It's also famous for its constructivist architecture, basically box-shaped buildings that were popular during the Soviet era, and street art. Its economy is doing Russia better than other cities of similar generally. size, which brings the average salary to $741 a month. Mm. Since 2003, the population has increased in by 12%. Good job, Yekaterinburg. <laughs> Number 3. Novosibirsk. It's the largest city in Siberia with a population of 1,620,000 people. It was founded in 1893 on the Ob River and the Trans-Siberian Railway fueled much of the city's growth. It became a large industrial center during the Stalin period. Today it's the educational and scientific center of Siberia with an average salary of $669. It's the coldest city out of these 10. Since 2003, the population increased by 14.5% Pretty impressive. I guess you put like the coat then. Number two. You probably have guessed it already. It's St. Petersburg, Petersburg, a Russian port city in the Baltic Sea. Today's population is 5,384,000 people. It was the imperial capital for two centuries, having been founded in 1703 by Peter the Great. No wonder it's considered the cultural capital of Russia. St. Petersburg is home to countless cathedrals, Beautiful palaces. Man. Look at the buildings, the sculpture, it's just theaters and museums, including the Hermitage, one of the largest art museums in the world. Tourism is an important part of the economy, although the economy is very diversified, from shipbuilding yards to medical equipment. The Lachta Center skyscraper is the tallest building in Russia and Europe. The average salary is $1,033 per month, wow. much higher than what we've seen so far, right? Yeah, Since 2003, is. the population increased by 14.6%. Not bad. And coming to number one, no surprise here, it's Moscow. It's the people. Russian capital and the largest city it. by far. Its population is 12.6 million so people million. and it keeps on growing. It's hard to name at once all the things that it's famous for. Let's see, Red Square, the Kremlin, Bolshoi Theater, the beautiful Moscow subway, and Moscow City, the business district. It's the wealthiest city in Russia and the average salary is 113,000 rubles a month. That is twice that of the most of the cities we just covered. Yeah. The city is clean and safe and you're never gonna run out of things to do here. It has a convenient and efficient public transit system. Why is Moscow so much wealthier than other Russian cities? Well, that's because Russia is basically centered around Moscow and all the money eventually is ending up here. This is where you find the best hospitals, universities and headquarters of major Russian and international companies. If you live in Russia and you're ambitious and hungry for success, that's where you gotta be. So, there you have it, the 10 largest cities in Russia by population. Now tell me, which one of those cities impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. That was a good video. My favorite is St. Petersburg. Because not too many people, but it's so beautiful, you know? It's almost like Moscow, but with less and fewer people. And that's what I like. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to share your best cities from that list and even if your cities didn't make it to that list you know you can still tell me about it well this is the end of this video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you on the next one have a very wonderful day peace